We got word today of a remarkable transplant surgery in Boston, the first of its kind in this country. A man who lost his penis to cancer has received a new one. It's a major development, especially for veterans who've suffered genital injuries, and our Dr. John LaPook is here to explain more. John, you spoke with two of the surgeons who did this. Why did they take on the case? Well, it was interesting. One of their young doctors went down to Walter Reed, and he observed some wounded warriors who had genital injuries. And this group does hand transplants. They thought, you know what? We really should do something for these people. There are over 1,300 wounded warriors who have these kinds of genital injuries. And then in addition to that, about 2,000 men a year have cancer of the penis, and that may or may not end up with injury to the penis. What do you know about this patient? Well, the patient's name is Thomas Manning. He's 64 years old from Massachusetts, and he lost his penis as part of treatment uh, for cancer of the penis that he developed in 2012. Now, ever since that, uh, he's been telling his doctors, is there anything you can do? And if there's anything you can do at all, I want to be part of it. And he's doing very, very well. And in fact, it was a 15-hour surgery. More than 30 doctors were involved. And the surgeons I just spoke to said they expect him to leave the hospital sometime next week. And this has been done successfully one other time in South Africa. Dr. John LaPook, thank you, John.